I'm Erin O'Ryan. I'm a Year 12 student, and I'm currently studying Studio Art this year. I'm Makara Carmichael. I'm in Studio Art, and I'm in Year 12. Hello, I'm Phoebe Sleeman. I'm in Year 12, and I do Studio Arts. Hi, I'm Isabel McCaddy. I'm in Year 12, and I'm currently studying Studio Arts. Hi, my name's Ben, and I'm studying Systems Engineering. Um, this is my project. I'm in the early stages of making an RGB speaker system which uses light that reacts to the sound played through the speakers to create a light show. My journey in studio arts at the moment, I am exploring expectations and society's expectations on teenage women throughout many different areas and how they're pressuring women to be a certain way and look a certain way and act a certain way. Right now I'm focusing on my subject matter which is a um, broken doll. It relates to my theme of autism because um, because that's sometimes how I think society views people on the spectrum and I just want to show the shocking side of how people think of it. Currently I'm working on identity and the way we portray ourselves in the media, in the way that we are, who we are and I'm portraying that through photography and installations and a bunch of different stuff. I'm currently exploring studio arts, the theme of identity and what makes up our identity, like the layers of it and if we have one single identity that makes us up or one or multiple identities that makes up our whole. My final product should look, I actually have a diagram here, my final product should look like a um, 2.1 speaker system with uh, infinity mirrors on the outsides of each speaker with uh, RD, an RGB 3D cube spectrum on top. When you're doing a portfolio, everything that you're doing develops and you're constantly developing all your ideas and all your thoughts. So all of your techniques, everything that you do develops and you just learn so much more by doing a folio process. If I think of a new idea or if I've forgotten something of how to do something, I can just go back to my folio and I like having a plan of how I like to do stuff. Like if I want to do watercolour this week or maybe focus on photography for references for the future. The thing I enjoy most about coming to the Villa campus would probably be the flexibility. So that involves being able to be independent in the classroom, working on whatever you feel like doing at the time. And it's very much up to you independently to get your project done at your own pace. If I have an idea, I know that I can just come to the Villa and I'll be able to find materials and things that I need to be able to go forwards with it and take it to the next level and look at all the variations that I can do with it. There's not a lot of ways I can express myself but I do find that creativity and art and any way to express yourself in that kind of way is really great because I can show who I am. You get to put all your ideas into a visual piece that even if as someone who doesn't like art particularly can still appreciate it and they can understand what you think without you having to verbally say it. I was originally only going to have images. It was just going to be three AO images. It was going to be done quite quickly. Then I stumbled upon making it into a book. So I had to get multiple of these different images. They couldn't be the same, so I had to have millions of photo shoots and I spent a lot of hours sitting here and cutting out images and sticking it, scanning it, proportionising it. I was thinking about doing photographs and then I kind of just thought it'd be more effective if I use paint because I can really manipulate the face to make it more kind of distorted, more creepy, you know, a lot more effective than if I used photograph. Right now I just finished painting on my cardboard which is going to be the background for my piece and I've just also cut out my doll into parts which was originally printed on an A0 but I cut it all out. Uh, so I'm pretty much in the final stage of my project. It's all built. I just need to do some touching up and I also need to diagnose just some of the issues with the lights not turning on sometimes and with certain strange behaviours happening with them. Throughout this process I've kind of felt a bit of a like artist block, you know, struggling to find inspiration, struggling to find, you know, deeper meaning in my ideas that I haven't already looked at. And Mrs Bailey's been helping me with that a lot just to really help me, you know, cement my idea and 
think of ways to take it outside of the box to make it bigger and better. I have a lot of photos of women um, and I've cut them out and put another image behind it and that's meant to represent women feeling invisible and trapped and the image behind it is um, there's multiple things. I have one here with like pots and bricks so they feel very trapped by the expectations that they stay home and cook or do the womanly duties. And then in my second art piece I have lots of women and just their faces and I've cut it and stitched it back together looking at plastic surgery and how they feel they have to look a certain way in order to be accepted by society. There are little bits about it that I really like and other bits that I wish I could change a little bit and alter but I can't really now they've kind of been set in stone so I'm just kind of working with it and making it look a bit more like it was meant to be there and a bit more authentic and just tying it all in so it's a bit smoother and all cohesive. I started with just drawing blocks of colour onto it but then decided that that wasn't um, detailed enough and it didn't draw enough attention so I added in the lines. They could be like, you know how a tree has different rings that makes up its age or the fingerprints so that is another link to identity that I've added. Well it's taught me a lot, a lot about how circuitry works and so I can put a whole system together that functions using an Arduino to control it and I could do, and I could apply these skills to pretty much any other Arduino based project as well. So. Before I was kind of looking more at the concept of you know who we are whereas now I'm looking a bit more at the social expectations that surround our identities and how a lot of the time our identity and who we are is shaped by social expectations and social media and all that kind of thing so that's kind of being represented through the use of mirrors and looking at your own reflection and what you think about it when you see what what you think about what you see in the mirror. I really hope to change an audience's perception of identity. So I hope to change the perception of identity as one single thing into a multi-layered concept that is formed over a long period of time rather than you being just born with it.